So let's talk a little bit about the difference between front end and back end. AngularJS is a front end framework like I've already said, but what is the back end and what's really the difference? Now, when you're working on a website, let's say for instance, you're the user, you go to any website and you're like, okay, I just now entered this website. Well, actually you're interacting with the front end but I wanna make this analogy more to a restaurant because most of us are used to going into restaurants. Like most of us have seen and been inside of a restaurant. When you go into the restaurant and you make an order and you interact with like the cashier or a server or like a waiter or waitress, like you can actually talk to these people and you interact with the front end, right? Like you see the decoration, you see like the tables, you see all the stuff that, that uh, you know, comprise of the front end. Now where the back end is, that's the kitchen. That's the things that you don't really see. Now of course, some restaurants kind of blend that a little bit, but a lot of restaurants, especially sit down restaurants, the back end where the, where the kitchen is actually cooking and doing a lot of stuff, that is where like a lot of the magic happens, but also a lot of the magic happens in the front end. So that's kind of the difference. Now some frameworks such as Django can handle actually both the back end and front end but the front end still can work with JavaScript. And that's where Angular really comes in. Angular is a JavaScript framework, so that usually exists on the front end. Of course, there are back end JavaScript frameworks as well, but on the front end, Angular itself is what's gonna handle all of these things. Now, so now let's actually kind of think of this analogy a little bit further as it relates to Angular specifically in the front end. Now, have you ever gone into a restaurant and all you did was order at the cashier and then you sat down and then they called your number out and then you went and grabbed your food and sat back down. Now, chances are pretty good that you've done that. Now, this takes a lot more work. And like being there, you feel like you're actually not, like you feel like you're in a restaurant. It doesn't feel the same sort of experience as it does when you go into a restaurant and sit down and that's all you do. Somebody comes to you or people come to you, bring your drinks, bring your food and do all that stuff. Right, so those two differences are what, what make up Angular. Angular is that latter part. It brings this better experience for the user so they don't feel like they're really using a website. Of course, at the end of the day, obviously they're gonna feel like they're using a website because they're on a website, but Angular allows it to feel a lot more organic and just bring that better experience just like a sit down restaurant versus ordering at the counter of a restaurant. Now, of course, each has their own specialty and, and in fact, Angular can do both sort of things. Angular can do all of it if it really wants to, but what Angular allows for us is a, just a, a more fluid experience. So being that it is in the front end, it also allows us to do more animations, um, more asynchronous loading or more robust asynchronous loading. Um, we can do filtering and we can do all sorts of things that you just can't do without JavaScript. Now you can write it in pure JavaScript but that makes it a lot harder and that's why you use a framework. Just like you could write a backend in pure Python, but it's a lot easier to just use Django because it's already written for us. So the framework kind of helps us in that sense. Now, when it comes to actually writing Angular, we can still use JavaScript, but there's a lot of different things related directly to Angular that you wouldn't use in JavaScript and vice versa. So there's certain like shortcuts and, and well, just more or less better ways of doing things um, using Angular as opposed to using any other or sort of JavaScript and any other sort of JavaScript framework, right? There are other JavaScript frameworks that accomplish the same thing Angular does, just like there's a lot of other backend frameworks that accomplish similar sort of things that, that Django does. So Angular is really cool and hopefully that clarifies what the front end and back end on, on somewhat of a level. It's gonna make more sense once you actually get into doing it because we'll talk about it once we actually get into the code as well. But I wanted to make sure that you knew the difference between front end and back end. And the best way I can think of it is to think of a restaurant. You know, the front end is the, what the users see, the back end is what the users typically don't see, but there's still things going on back there that is important for the front end experience. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.